So we are morning here on Rover Sports. Thank you guys for being with me. Got my Ocho Cinco jersey, and I'm out of bed early this morning because Jalen Ramsey is firing on all cylinders. So without further ado, I am ready to try and break down everything that this guy is saying. The thing about Jalen Ramsey is I am not going to agree with every opinion that the guy is going to say. However, however, I want to thank Jalen Ramsey because once again, the NFL is the best sport in all of the land. It's the most entertaining sport. And the NFC, the parity levels, everything involved with the NFL is terrific. And Jalen Ramsey just giving us more material this morning. So what I wanted to do right now is I wanted to talk about exactly the Jalen Ramsey GQ article. I wanted to pull it up. I'm going to pull it up here on my computer. And I have so many thoughts about the quarterback position because you know me you know I love the quarterback position I live to try to break down quarterback play to try to analyze quarterback play so Jalen Ramsey is literally hitting us right between the eyeballs in, in exactly a spot that we can go and dissect so so first off he talks about Josh Allen so let's read right from GQ again right from the GQ article I think Josh Allen, Buffalo Bills quarterback, is trash. I don't care what nobody say. He's trash, and it's going to show, too. That's a stupid draft pick to me. We play them this year, and I'm excited as hell. I hope he's starting because he then goes on to say he played at Wyoming, and every time he played against a big school, he would do poorly, even Iowa State. I don't even think they played Iowa State. They played Iowa. And he said that that's not a big school to him because he went to Florida State. Well, first of all, Iowa State is – that's taking a shot at Matt Campbell. Iowa State is getting better. And I don't even think Wyoming and Josh Allen played Iowa State. I think that they played Wyoming. I think that they played Iowa. He did never beat a big school. Um, he was he was turning the ball over against bigger schools. So, you know, Jalen Ramsey is pointing out there in those comments that Josh Allen hasn't performed well against big schools. And Josh Allen would tell you that that's also accurate. But the point is, is that I'm going to say to Jalen Ramsey's comments is that Josh Allen was also playing with three star talent against four and five star talent and that it's not only on a quarterback he's now playing at the NFL level where everything is completely equal you look at the athletic ability of Josh Allen the way he can throw the football and put it this way Josh Allen is going to find a way to be successful in the NFL so I believe that Jalen Ramsey is wrong on this assessment of Josh Allen he's criticizing Josh Allen he hasn't even set foot in the league yet so, again, he's taking a shot at a guy. And, frankly, nobody sticks up for Josh Allen, so I want to be one of the few guys that does. Everybody just shits on Josh Allen. There's this perception out there that, you know, when you compare Josh Allen to the other quarterbacks like Josh Rosen and Lamar Jackson, you know, that, that somehow, like, Lamar Jackson takes as much crap as Josh Allen. No. Bill Polian's on an island with Lamar Jackson. The quarterback wide receiver – comments those are like maybe like two percent of the population actually thinks that so you know uh, so the whole like fact that like people you know look at Lamar Jackson differently and think you should play wide receiver that's like the tiniest subset of everybody I don't think Lamar Jackson's going to be very good but I don't think he should move to wide receiver and I'm going to say that Josh Allen is going to be better than Lamar Jackson I have no problem putting my name on that opinion that I hope full-heartedly believe that Josh Allen will be better than Lamar Jackson I don't think that Lamar Jackson I don't see Lamar Jackson working out at the NFL level at all when he played against LSU he was embarrassed by coach Orgeron and LSU and he had Bobby Petrino and he had an ACC level of talent he had ACC um, talent at Louisville and he was terrible when you watched him against Mississippi State he threw four interceptions he lost to Kentucky in football so Jalen Ramsey wants to say well Josh Allen would lose to a lot of people well Lamar Jackson lost to Kentucky 
in football. So it's not like Lamar Jackson. He thinks Lamar Jackson is somehow this this tremendous underrated quarterback. But yet when Lamar Jackson would play against LSU, when he would play against Mississippi State, he got bombed by Clemson this year. He got bombed by NC State, his football team. So it's so so to try to compare those two guys, that's a fallacy in his argument. It's he's hypocritical in that argument because Lamar Jackson wouldn't do well. So he believes that Lamar Jackson is a guy that's doing well. He believes that Lamar Jackson is doing well, but he somehow believes that Josh Allen, he somehow believes that they're two completely different people, which I completely don't agree with, okay? But that, that that's fine. It's fine to have disagreements. Um, but I am going to disagree. So he says Rodgers is good. He says Brady's good. Okay. So we, we don't really have any problems with those. He says, I think Marcus Mariota is a great quarterback for that team. He's staying straight right here. I'm a Marcus Mariota fan. You can you can hammer that one in. You can tack that one down. That's accurate statement. I think Tyrod Taylor is actually a better quarterback than he gets credit for. He doesn't make mistakes. You're right. He threw four interceptions last year. But the point is he's not Marcus Mariota, okay? Marcus Mariota can throw fervor than him. Marcus Mariota could take over a damn game. Tyrod Taylor cannot do that. Tyrod Taylor, two consecutive years, okay, of being ranked 25th in passing yards. He only averaged 200 yards a game throwing last year, and then this year he averaged 195 yards, ranking him 25th for consecutive years. Tyrod Taylor sucked against the Panthers. Tyrod Taylor this year – the Panthers scored nine points. He couldn't even get them to double digits. The Bills went nine and seven. The AFC sucks. The AFC is horrible. You're just happy you got to beat up on them every year. In the playoff game, when he played against you guys, he was terrible. So Tyrod Taylor, get out of here with the, oh, he made Buffalo make the playoffs. If Andy Dalton and, and the freaking Ravens had a damn pulse, they wouldn't have been in the damn playoffs. The fact that Tyrod Taylor's underrated, you know why Tyrod Taylor's underrated? Because nobody actually thinks he's overrated because no one thinks he's good. No one's telling you that Tyrod Taylor is good. That's why he's underrated quarterback, all right? Are you sold on the Jimmy Garoppolo uh, hype? He said, I don't know yet. When they beat us, his hype picked up. His hype was great before that. He's undefeated for Christ's sakes. He beat the number one defense. It was all schemes. He didn't beat us. Yeah, as a quarterback, you're supposed to get the ball in your playmaker's hands. It's all schemes. So so uh, I covered this in a video earlier. Jalen Ramsey thinks that Jimmy Garoppolo, if if he if Jimmy Garoppolo, okay, if you're listening to this video, if you want to gain the respect of Jalen Ramsey, completely ignore Kyle Shanahan and go schoolyard bullshit and don't pay attention to schemes, all right? So again, he says that comment. Okay, and then he says, I guess he's good uh, because he works in schemes. So he, he basically, you can't even understand understand the damn that that damn paragraph Deshaun Watson will he be league MVP in a couple years that is a good statement by Jalen Ramsey because that's a that's a hot take because that's say that that's putting your name on something that that's actually a unique opinion that he will be MVP so I like that statement I like Deshaun Watson I'm not going to go as far as him I'm not going to go as far as him though Mahomes I'm with you on Patrick Mahomes but not Deshaun Watson so I like it Deshaun Watson is average at best he reminds me of Jimmy Garoppolo oh my god you think that Jared Goff is on the same playing field as Jimmy Garoppolo? Well, that's a common opinion right now. A lot of people would take Jared Goff over Jimmy G, but thankfully that opinion's going to be dead wrong. I could put that one in stone against Jalen Ramsey, okay? He thinks he's in the Jimmy Garoppolo. No freaking way, okay? They both have great coaches. They both play on the West Coast. That's about it. Keep Jared Goff's name out of Jimmy Garoppolo's name. Kirk Cousins, Dak Prescott, he's absolutely right on that as well. I love that this guy is just coming to the forefront and he's just announcing all this shit. That, that's, what's, that's what's wonderful about Jalen Ramsey. He's announcing all this shit out here and Tom Coughlin and Doug Marone must be pulling their hair out. But for us, for the NFL media, I'm not, 
why am I saying I'm the NFL media? I'm a guy who just sits behind a damn camera and makes videos for my house. But for people that try to talk on YouTube channels, for Pigskin Pete, for Jake Ranos, for all my friends that are trying to all increase their channels, somehow get to the big leagues or somehow get on television, for everybody, Jalen Ramsey is a godsend. This is just absolutely fantastic that I can wake up this morning and that I can have all this material and shit to talk about. Kirk Cousins, this is a good take as well, okay? Because this, you know it's a good take when people are disagreeing. You know it's a good take when people are really disagreeing with you. Or, or when it's a take that, that means it's a unique opinion. That means that the opinion is actually getting some, some interest. So the Josh Allen opinion is a good opinion because it actually invokes a reaction like it gets it get it makes the hair on my back stand up because I think Josh Allen is just treated unfairly so that's why Jalen Ramsey's a good trash talker because these opinions actually make you kind of pissed off or they make you really agree so he's polarizing and that in itself is beautiful for the game of football so Kirk Cousins he is a winner he is a great competitor I completely agree at Michigan State he won big now people will say at Washington oh he couldn't make the playoffs he couldn't beat the Giants a couple of years ago Ah." he won the NFC freaking East before the Eagles and Cowboys came along okay he's playing with Dan Snyder cards he's playing with John Gruden cards okay he's he plays pretty damn well okay if you watched him in that Saints game he plays well he shows great potential he's going to win freaking big in Minnesota and then they'll say well Case Keenum won in Minnesota anyone can win in Minnesota you damn idiot well Kirk Cousins is a good player so you can go with that one okay he is going to win big in Minnesota and he is light years better than Case Keenum he showed that Saturday and he's going to continue to prove that Case Keenum isn't going to do shit for the Denver Broncos and I might even make a video about that your boy Blake Bortles he plays in the scheme too Jimmy Garoppolo man he plays in the scheme how much trouble do you give him in practice we don't play him in practice So that is great from GQ. That's just showing you that's the opposite of iron sharpens iron. That's our iron so damn good that we don't want to fracture the other iron. That's bullshit that they don't practice. You should, Blake Bortles should be facing the best defensive practice. He won't get his confidence up. That makes him look soft. He should throw interceptions so he knows not to throw them in the games. He should be Mahomesing it in practice because Mahomes will go out in the games and he will know that he can make big-time throws. Tannehill, not very good. Phillip Rivers, good. What's the Atlanta quarterback's name? He doesn't even know that. Ryan, I love it. I love it, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. My friend David in Atlanta will not like me for this, but I am not a Matt Ryan believer at all, Cam. Newton's better than Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan doesn't win on the road in the playoffs. He's never won a road playoff game other than the L.A. Rams or Farrow Cooper handed him the damn game. So you know what? Go with that freaking opinion. Period. End of freaking story, baby. Go with that opinion. I love it. Gain up in the old microphone here as we are now 13 minutes in. I like to put on my headphones and check how we are. Usually, if I if I don't have to wear headphones, I don't really want to, but I want to, again, check the gainage. It's probably still not going to come out perfect, but it is what it is. So that's so funny. He doesn't even know Matt Ryan's name, and then he says Matt Ryan's okay, okay. Um, and then, yes, yes. He basically gives credit to Kyle Shanahan. Yes. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's perfect. Last year, absolutely right. Absolutely right. He does have Julio Jones. Well, the thing is about this guy, the thing is about Jalen Ramsey is that he makes it seem like Ben Roethlisberger's doing well because of, uh, you know, because of uh, Antonio Brown and Eli Manning's good because of Odell Beckham. Well, Eli Manning won two championships without Odell Beckham. Ben won two championships. But Ben also won a championship with Santonio Holmes and all these guys. And if you're a quarterback, you're supposed to accent your greatest weapon. So it's not a hindrance to actually have weapons. And that's one thing that he is talking about here. So he thinks, so, so, so to go over the guys that he has wrong, okay, he has Jared Goff totally wrong. He's going he's gonna to tank. 
he has he has Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson. I would flip those two commentaries. I think he's being completely unfair to Lamar Jackson. Kirk Cousins, he's spot on about. Blake Bortles, he, he won't even give him the vote of confidence. Nick Foles, he's perfect on. It was all coaching. Nick Foles can't start anywhere else. Nick Foles is a good quarterback, actually. Better than Tannehill, better than Dalton. But he can't, he can, you can't play him under center, so that's why he doesn't get, you know, these other positions. And uh, he thinks Lamar Jackson and Tyrod Taylor are good. They're not good. He didn't analyze Jameis Winston, but Jameis is underrated. Cam Newton is properly rated. Cam Newton's freaking legit. And Tyrod Taylor is not underrated. He is just flat out overrated, and he's going to be a backup quarterback when Baker comes in in a couple of days. So that is the whole spiel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you agree with some points, you you are probably, hopefully will disagree with some points too because that means that I invoked a reaction. Leave a comment below. Thank you guys. Have a 